Salutations, my friends. I'm Mr. Mokalover, Lover, and thank you for joining me here in TWR, the Thousand Week Rack, in which we're playing as that big old beautiful Republic of China. So last time, we just finished up Contest American Dominance, so let's go ahead and do some naval air supremacy. Our carrier technology is badly out of date when it is, ex when it is extant at all. Even so, there's no reason for us to panic. The U.S. Navy does not have the capability to fill our coast areas with air power, and so coastal naval bases will be more than sufficient to counter their strike forces. This does not mean, however, that we can rest on our laurels. Exercises to develop the strike range and capacity of our naval air force will develop or improve the speed at which we can counter threats to our shore and build a foundation for the eventual birth of our own carrier fleet. Cool. Get a bonus research. Uh, so, a couple comments. Someone recommends I play as the UK. I totally will in Thousand Week Reich. Just not yet. I don't know. Well, I'll, well, I'll get there eventually. And they're guaranteeing the independence of the Italian Republic. And also, play as Poland. Now, there's actually quite a bit of support for me to play as Poland or even Zapotoslavia. Just to see what they're like. Try them out. At the time of this recording, this is before... The next patch is up, but the next patch, from what I hear, in the Thousand Week Reich, is a more Balkan-focused one. So Hungary might get a focus tree, Croatia, maybe even Bosnia, Serbia. So, just to let you guys be aware of that, uh, the Balkans are going to be really focused upon. I do have a cup of coffee here, decaf coffee, to keep us nice and a little bit warm, even though it's already half drunk, whatever. Uh, let's see. Someone recommends, or asks, is there any other way for us to get more research slots for China? Under Chang... Kai-shek, in this campaign, no, there's not. From, oh, hey, the Soviet Union has killed one of the Russian Republic. I was kind of waiting for that. Uh, but basically, no, I don't think there's really a way for us to get any more research slots. Two, it really sucks. It really, really, really sucks. But it is what it is. Uh, now, I asked you guys yesterday whether or not we should attack the nation surrounding us. Yes or no. Your thoughts, your concerns. And there's a whole bunch of mixed responses. So no matter what I do, people aren't going to like it. So... Here's the thing. So, the USSR is fighting the Russian Republic. I was thinking about maybe attacking the Russian Republic, but since they're at war with the USSR, I kind of want to see them duke it out with these guys, even though I think the USSR is probably going to win. Maybe? Um, it would be nice to be able to send, like, divisions to help them out, but it is what it is. Uh, it's 1960. Let's go ahead and grab some more cap and growth, probably. Yeah. Grab that. Another division. Don't mind if we do. And we got some more flamethrowers, which is great, 1960. I love 1960. Let's actually grab more research speed first. Transistors, computers. Thank you very, very much. Naval air supremacy, very nice. And let's go ahead and do issue treasury bonds. The treasury is critical to sponsoring the small-scale Keynesian Kenyan programs that we are implementing across China. As the biggest single investor in the nation and the sole guarantor, guarantor of much of its currency, it holds a key to our successes or failures. And to keep it financially viable, though, we will institute mandatory bond trading in our financial markets, selling guaranteed return loans to the government, which will have the promise of stable interest. Thanks to our recent financial reforms, we are guaranteed a relatively stable valuation as well, or so the eggheads will tell us. The government will not stop there, however. Complex securities borrowed from the American system are in the works. Uh, these are explicitly tied to the value of inflation, further increasing consumer confidence in their yields. With these soft instruments, we will pro prod the Chinese fiscal juggernauts into roaring a vital life, which would be cool. And a couple more comments to get through as well. But like I said, no matter what I do, I wanted to go to war with maybe Korea, Russia, India, Kashmir. So like I said, whatever path I take is going to piss people off. But I think we we really need some sort of violence to keep things a little bit more interesting. Oh, Nikolai. Who are you? Skvardskov. So I think... I want to go at least to war with one person to finish this campaign. This might, this is probably the last episode. I can't tell. You guys know because it either says Hanelli in the title or not. But if it is, I would like to maybe go to war with India. Now, why India? It's because they are in, they are in their own faction. America probably won't guarantee them or anyone else from the Toronto Accords. Uh, they're guaranteeing the independence of uh, Bengal, and Bengal is guaranteeing their resist their independence. They have Sikkim as a puppet, which is cool. Uh, just because. I have Pakistan. I want to see if Pakistan can bring the heat when if they go to war with India, but not just India. There's two nations we want to go to war with, maybe. Maybe India, as well as Kashmir. So what we'll do first is use console commands to fight Kashmir and, uh, I guess, Jammu and Kashmir. And then maybe we'll go to war with India, and that'll probably be a campaign for us, at least for this one. And we will liberate Hong Kong by the end as well. We'll see what happens with them, though. Region wide integration is good. You know what? If I can get an extensive conscription, that'd be great. So we can get even more civilian uh, workshops to use on total through mo total mobilization. Uh, over here, mm, I've already gone over this several times. It's, it's okay. It's not bad stuff. It's really not bad. We need more anti tank though right now. Ooh, that is not good. More anti tank, you say? So, what are we building? 
A lot of infrastructure. A buttload of infrastructure. Okay, so that's the case. Do that. And then do a little bit of that. And then do a little bit more fuel. So we are fuel independent as well as getting more and more rubber under our own belt. Even though we do need a little bit more aluminum, our navy... Well, it's looking okay. It's not looking great. So, I'll give it just a little bit more time. We'll issue some treasury bonds. Treasury bonds are nice. And then we will do the currency reforms. So, our current attempts at reforming the finances of China have proven moderately successful, but a Western-aligned modern economist whisper of a better, more long-lasting solution to be undertaken. Ambitious though it might be, the plan is simple. A new Chinese dollar, perhaps the Sun Yat-sen dollar, will fully transition the nation's economy into the new system and also help us uproot any hoarders of commodities or the old currency. It also firmly delineate our transition to, into a new era, which should aid our nation-building efforts in the political sphere. That said, there are definite downsides to this project. We have just barely managed to stabilize our economy from inflationary pressures and low consumer confidence, kicking the proverbial hornet's nest will jeopardize our extent policies. It might risk a lapse back into the depression of the media post-war years. It's a gamble. Are we ready to bet the house? Well, we'll see what happens regardless. Wow, two, over two a day. God dang, that's a lot of political power. Woo! And I believe I did change the silent work course, which is pretty good. Yeah, if we could change this guy too, Zan Kun, Chun. Yeah, that's not great. AI modifier, focus on defense. Conscription laws are more expensive. Trade deal opinion, trade deal opinion. Apologetic cleric. Land for construction speed. That's the only real benefit I see there. Decryption though is not bad either. Uh, I think I might go with the decryption because we can. Decryption is kind of nice to get. Yeah, let's get some more decryption. All right, do we have another uh, infantry division? Very, very good. If that's the case, I'm going to go ahead and position you guys right here. Because when we invade this group with Pakistan, we'll give it to Pakistan. Because they, they, will, they will be stronger, hopefully, and fight against the Indian forces. Which might be good, might not be good. Ooh, they're conservative, even though they have a lot of social democrat support. <coughs> They have a casual 8 million uh, manpower, they have 107 factories, 69 nice civilian ones, and 36 military factories. Uh, they have up probably around 100 -ish divisions, maybe a little bit more, maybe a little bit less. Stockpile, like got quite a, quite a bit of motorized. Not a lot of infantry, though. A lot more motorized than infantry. They got a good amount of fuel, no, no navy to really speak about. And they got an okay-ish air force, okay-ish. So which means we should probably prioritize our Air Force as well right now. How's that looking, actually? Our Air Force, well, we got some CAS. That's not going to be good enough, though. Hmm. Fighter-wise, CAS is looking okay. Why is my... Where's my fighters? Um, oh, CAS CV. CAS 1. Um... Where did I put the fighters? Did I not make any fighters? Oh, crap. <laughs> uh, that's not good. If that's the case, go and do this. Do that. There you go. And we're going to do that and then do that. There you go. Cool. New currency issued. We'll talk about that once we do the next focus. A new stable currency. The blueprints have been drawn. The guidelines set the financial institutions nurtured to health, and it is time we declare victory over inflation. With an official transition to secondary priorities like industrial development and expansion of infrastructure, we will take our place amongst the fellow developing nations of the world as a stable, beckoning source of consumer confidence. The new plan is to boost domestic industrial growth in a manner championed by our domestic economists. They call it import substitution, it might just be the future. They say high tariffs and a ramp up of domestic industry will secure our currency from within. They say the Chinese market could, for the first time in a century, be the tiger that rides the world rather than bowing before it. They say that the markets of Shanghai and Wuchang will soon become the nexus of international trade and investment, and that when China gives orders, the world will be led by its wallets. And as a vermilion dragon begins to flex in its slumber, it is looking like they might be right. So, let's grab this over here, and we'll talk about the focus for the event. New currency issued. Cool. Hopefully the final, the final generation of the Chinese currency, the new FABI, is carefully designed to be the last currency which provides a stability for our functional economy. The new FABI, compared to its ancestors, is an extremely well-planned currency with a stronger spine. This currency's legitimacy has also been increased thanks to... Something else. The secret cooperation to certain interests around the world. Cool. And Treasury bonds proved successful. As means to secure a solid foundation for the national economy, the central bank has made several test runs in providing Treasury bonds, mimicking the American style. Thankfully, Treasury bonds proved themselves to be greatly beneficial and effective. Learning from the test runs, orders have been given to sell these Treasury bonds in a stable way to ensure a steady flow of currency into our national Treasury. So, for a quarter of the year, or actually a little less than half the year, we get minus 5% consumer goods. Not bad. Keep building, guys. Keep building, 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 building. Chinese economy is going to get better, better, better. 80% looks pretty good. And let's get some more military factories going. That would be very beneficial. We've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 
full runs with 9 out of 15 going on right there. That's pretty darn good in my opinion. We are number 2 in the world, 151. We're still about less than half of the United States, which is fine. It is what it is. Uh, are you guys doing okay over here? Like, what's the supply like? One? Oh, that is hot trash. Go and do that as well. Alright, so soon enough, once these guys are done training, we'll probably go ahead and go to war just because we can. Because why not? So, we'll do that. We'll go against Kashmir, give that to Pakistan, then maybe, maybe go to war with India. We'll see what happens, because I do want to spend some more time building up our air force. Because as we saw, I really wasn't building any fighters, which is a big no-no. A big, 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 big no-no. I could grab maybe a few more things of this as well. Uh, let's trade with Hungary. Let's try that. We'll go with three. And then over here, we'll grab... Oh, we got some of that nice. Decryption? Oh, yeah, let's grab some decryption. That'd be kind of good for our, air, our, our armies. Have we been doing anything for the intelligence agency? Not too much. Some more passive defense, I guess. One, two, three, four, five. Still looking good. Looking very, very good, actually. Oof. Not bad. How are you guys coming along here? And these guys are, what, 20 combat width? They're 20 combat width, which... They're okay. They're not bad. They're not bad. They're not great. Oh, and we want 40 combat width, so... 28. Get some more infantry, because we already have all the artillery that we would need in here. Not bad. Just need two more sets of battalions before we really increase them a little larger. And we're almost there for the next one. There you go. And we need one more. Good, 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 good. And do we have enough infantry equipment for that? Probably. Artillery is looking really good. Oh my goodness. Come on, anti tank. Can't just take everything for yourself, anti tank. Man, those military factories were done so fast. So, so, so fast. Uh, anywhere else we're building infrastructure up that could be really beneficial. Um, not really. Maybe right here, maybe. There you go. Passive defense. Cool. Get some more passive defense. That'd be great. Building up some more civilian factories are always good as well. Stable currency. Great. 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 Let's go do Battleship Masters of Asia. As Zhang He retired and the treasure fleet was mothballed, China's experiments in large-scale naval power came to an end. We paid dearly for it as a century of humiliation ravaged us. We must have never let this happen. So we should not allow this to happen again. China will develop genuine battleship capabilities or will risk repeating of the last 100 years. Battleship models will allow us to protect power in the coastal areas of the south, where no real air force exists to challenge our might. Refitted fast battleships along with the lines of the Iowa class of America will allow us to move quickly and avoid being hit from above or below. With these capital ships, China will once more wield its claws into Asian seas, and this time there will be no sabotage from within to stop us. Hopefully. Hopefully. Actually, instead of getting region-wide in integration, I'm going to do improved worker conditions because it hurts our civilian factories. But it gives us more stability, and I want more stability. Oh my goodness. It gives us more political power, less consumer goods factories, more output, and less resistance in target places, so that's really, really, really good. How strong are these militia divisions? 1 to 35, 1 to 1. If we were to attack, they'd probably be doing okay. Realistically speaking. Uh, if that's the case, go ahead and throw on maybe some radar down here. We might be able to use some of that. That actually would be quite beneficial. Looking a little better down here, not bad. So, unfortunately, I have to use console commands to attack this way. So, unfortunately, we've got Yes Man and then uh, Allow Diplo. I usually, I really don't like using console commands, but I want at least a little bit of action before we do anything else. And we're going to call all of our allies in and then take this off immediately so that way no one else can use it, no other nations can use it, which would be a good thing. Cool. Call it in Thailand, and we immediately go to war with them. I just want a little bit more conflict in, in our lives. That's all. Just, just just, a little bit. Cool. Uh, head on down there, guys. Kashmir's goal. Oh, yeah. We'll take some light tanks and basic anti-tank. Yeah, totally. All right. So we've lost 340 guys versus 4,200. Not bad. Ooh, a little bit of struggle right here. Passive defense. Not bad either. Get some anti-partisan stuff going. Not quite winning, but we're winning over here, which is what really matters, I guess. Um, hmm. I mean, you can help out, too. We cut them off, so... And this is a faster way of getting more army XP, so... Not too bad. We should probably grab... Maybe a few Mountaineers, but we don't really have that division template. We really should grab some... One more support equipment. Or something like that. Hmm. Keep them in place. Keep them in place. Another infantry division? Don't mind if we do. Oh, you're up here. Well, we cut them off, so... Even if we can't win now, that's still okay. There you go. Four divisions, huh? 
That's a lot of divisions. Just get into Gilgit. Uh, Baltistan. That would be great. And we killed him off. Look. So we lost about 1,000. 1,300 versus 25,000. Not bad. Um, uh, okay. It looks like pa Pakistan did not come into the war for that. So, I guess I'll take it over. But really, I'm just going to give it to these guys. Thank God for the state transfer tool mod. There you go, Pakistan. Hope you like your new winnings. In the meantime, though, I wonder if I could just, like, kind of stay down here to help you out. You should probably get some logistics companies. Yeah, that's going to be not good on the border. They're not looking super strong here. Ooh, that's not good. Train if you need it. That'll be good. Now we need more anti-tanks. will be it. More anti-tank, more support equipment. Anti-tank. Support equipment. That's be it. Mass production. Great. Resource extraction gain. Decentralization. Uh, you get more civilian factories if you go this way. So... Let's go with concentrated industry. Cool. Master ship builders of Asia. Uh, fleet and being, why not? Just as their army's senior staffers were forged to the Wampoa Academy, so two of our senior naval staff have been trained at the Naval Academy. Established in Shanghai and moved to Shantung in 46. An ambitious navy needs ambitious students, however, and the time has finally come to revitalize this branch of the armed forces with new blood. Foreign towns from across Asian navies will be recruited as instructors. Recruitment will be paired with strong incentives to keep the navy competitive, and curricula will be completely overhauled to ensure that the recruits can innovate tactics on demand. If China's destiny lies on its high seas, it will chart its course here, for better or for worse. Cool. What are we missing? Light tanks. Oh. I guess we'd still use light tanks. Oh, well. At this point, we gotta really ramp up military production. Uh, 50 looks pretty good. Do it there. 50, and then 80. I wanna keep them on 3 at all times. Let's see, and we'll do it right there. Okay, we'll do 4 for now. Because we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 going at the same time. Awesome, awesome, awesome. You guys come over there. Unless you're, no, you're not using, losing supplies. That's good. How's it looking over here? Not bad. They have no divisions down there, which is good. Could use some more anti-tank. You guys are looking okay, even though you're looking a little weak, maybe, potentially. I want to stop training for now. We do want Hong Kong, but I'm going to actually have you guys come over here. Just going to help hold the line if we they attack us like this. Might be a little crazy. Actually, how much more anti-tank do the 40 combo with use compared to our regular 20 combo with? Anti-tank 140 versus... Two. So basically double. So that's not good if we wanted to make 40 combo with divisions. We're going to need a buttload of this. Treasury bonds, cool. Well, we lost those for now. One, two, three, four, five ish. Not bad, still. Still not bad. Any partisan stuff? S civilian economy. How's the warfare doing? Actually, Russia's doing better than I thought. They're actually pushing in a little bit. That's not bad for them. Not bad. Happy 1961, though. Happy New Year, my friends. New Year, new us, new good times. And we have 68% stability, so pretty good. Pretty darn good. Pakistan looking a little thicker, and we like it like that. I want to just keep building. Oh. Gotta build, 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 build. Another one right there. Mm, nowhere in Tibet we could really build. Mongolia, maybe. Hmm, 40, 40, 40, 40. That's a lot of 40s. No, well, I guess so if we have to. Four at a time, like always. Encryption, cool. Let's go and grab some encryption. Plus one. Four, now we get another one. Right there. Ngara, Ngari. Cool. Get a little bit of influence on how to spot enemies. You guys are still doing okay. That's good. Ooh, expand the ROC Naval Academy. And we'll do protect Asian maritime trade. As our domestic trade capacities grow and our cities flourish, Chinese will find itself increasingly concentrated in the lush waters of the South China Sea and the Sea of Japan. Industrial equipment, consumer goods, and all manners of resource inputs flow back and forth between the coastal Asia and our ports. And this will only increase in intensity as years go by. Protecting this trade route, therefore, is integral to preserving China itself. Experiments in submarine warfare, although still primitive by Western standards, are integral to this protection. Without the sound and fury of American armaments, we must use stealth and surveilling trade routes for potential aggressors, and submarines will prove very much adequate for their purposes. Very cool. Very, very cool. Anti tank still looking good, but we're good on support equipment, which is awesome. We're doing okay ish on fighters. We're doing okay ish on close air support. But my goodness, do we need a lot, a lot of military factories now? Oof. If we could build up faster, I would want to, but I don't know. We'll see what happens. I do want to attack. But these guys should be dug in. How strong are these guys? Looking not too bad. Not too bad. Are they, these are mountains or plains? These are plains. Hmm. Over here, they should be able to hold in the mountains. 
In the center, I'm a little worried about that stuff. Uh, for the cavalry, since I'm still using them... Mm, do we have, how much motorized do we have? Oh, we're kind of doing okay on motorized. Actually, we'll throw in some motorized. Why not? Might make them just a little bit tougher, which would be nice. Got quite a bit of uh, political power, which is good as well. Yeah, total mobilization. If we just go to war, it might solve a few problems. But, you know, I'm sure someone said that before and it went really poorly for them. 50%. One, two, three, four. And then we'll throw another one in right there. Don't want to do it on the coast, but it is what it is. Another division, great. Army department, cool. Do the Air Force next. GDP wise, we are 155, not bad. France is slowly catching up though. They are slowly catching up. Navy's looking pretty good though. Let's see, what do we have? Anything new? Maybe, maybe. Oh, uh -huh, another carrier! Hey, we actually have a carrier now. No carrier, no carrier, and what do you have over here? I'll throw you over there to make it a little bit more balanced. Now we need some carrier planes. Carrier fighters, carrier casts. Oh my goodness. Cool. Go ahead and do this first. Do that to two. Do that to two as well. Throw you right there, because you could probably you could really use you there, probably. Um... Cool, and let us do trade interdiction. Expansions of our existing doctrine of convoy rating will ensure that we do not only have a chokehold on our naval armaments, but supply routes as well. The South China Sea is ideal for this doctrine, having a few concentrated ports through which trade flows west and north. The Straits of Malacca could prove to be the grave of any potential military action on our part, and should we not be prepared to strike first. Just as the Red Cliffs saw the ships of Cao Cao burn, so too shall the seas see the convoys of our enemies become burning pyres. Let those who would strike this dragon beware, for our claws are swift, and they will be spared none. They will spare none. Absolutely not. They, no one shall be spared. Uh, go ahead and train as well if you need it. Tanks, looking pretty weak. I'm just going to leave you kind of down there. I'm going to actually leave you in Nanjing just in case. So, Cool. More region-wide integration? Sure, why not? We got four more coming along. Uh, we're going to buff that one. Ngari. Yeah, building up that area is not a great idea. I oh, got some decryption done. Cool. Throw another division over there. Let's see. You guys are all good. You guys kind of all good. Sort of. Well, more encryption for boom, 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 boom. Naval department next. Nice. Really trying to rapidly industrialize. Militarily, at least. Not bad, 40. I do want to make sure that we have more planes on here as fast as possible. We got plenty of artillery, so let's do that. And let's see. Bring you up by another five. We're going to get you down to five for now. Since we have enough, go down to five here. So we can get some main battle tanks and some APCs eventually going as well. That would be quite ideal, even though we don't have enough resources. One, two, three, four, five, six, and another one. Ninja. Cool. Uh, yeah, I should probably really put you guys over here now. That'd be a little better. Yeah, Burma, maybe I should should have built you up as well, as well as the Kingdom of Laos. That's okay. Cool. Not bad, not bad. This part of China, though, gonna need a little bit more love. As well as Mongolia. Cool, cool. Cool. Anything else? Hey, 74% stability. Very nice. So, at this point, let's go and stop training. And we'll go and go to war with those guys down here. And see what happens. This section is going to get hit pretty hard. Actually, all of our sections are going to get hit pretty hard. Especially down here. Oof. Naval department, not bad. But you know what? With the more wars we're in, which means we'll probably get more army XP. Yeah, this area is going to get hit pretty goddamn hard. Oof. How is our Air Force doing? Well, we got a couple extra planes, a couple extra fighters. Yes, please. Throw them on if you can. To the cavalry. And then get them some casts as well. That'd be good. And our carriers are even doing pretty well as well. Great. At least we got a carrier. I mean, that's that's impressive. Our first carrier is out. Could build a few more dockyards, though. Hmm. We might as well do that now. Go and build some dockyards down in... Uh, do Taiwan. Trade interdiction. Let's do introduce cruisers. The RLC's Navy experiments with the cruisers in the pre-war era proved short-lived and ill-fated. One by one, the Japanese sunk cruisers in port as air power overwhelmed them. However, a good idea should not be to abandon them because of isolated failures. Paired with a robust light ship de defense fleet, these fast littoral vessels will greatly enhance their ca ship capital ship projection without requiring similar levels of investment. 
reticence on the part of, the, of our American partners is only to be expected nonetheless. And salvage from the Japanese refitting of dockyard facilities will ensure that our cruisers will be completed with a minimal assistance from external parties. It will take time, but in time, it will, in the end, prove worthwhile for our cause. Which is pretty good. Actually, you can do three here. Huh, that might be pretty good, actually, to do as well. We've got three. We've got that going. Uh, dockyards? No dockyards, huh? Thought I'd put them on here. Cool. Get some dockyards going. We can use them for our carrier and cruisers. Uh, or destroyers, or whatever promises of the peace. Yeah, no, not, not with what we're about to do. Are we all ready to go? You guys ready to defend? Hopefully. You guys will be able to smash through here, hopefully, pretty darn quickly. And hopefully, they'll be able to hold right there. So, it's time to do the inevitable. Yes, man. And a la Diplo. Go to war with these guys and call in all our allies. Cool. Do that. And the world has started to go... Or at least Asia has started to get caught on fire. I'm actually going to come over here. See what we can do about stuff about that. Maybe do that one too. Maybe, maybe not. And have you guys do like that area. If you can. And then if you can get down there. Good luck. Actually you guys. Even though we don't have enough you know, planes for carriers yet. They should do still pretty darn well. Now they're going to attack us. Maybe, maybe not. I want you guys to go right ahead. You guys should be able to go to war with these guys. Yeah. There we go. And now they're immediately attacking us. That's fine. I don't really care. Oh, you guys? Oh, yeah. You guys don't attack. Oh, heck no. You guys have to attack. Come on. Oh, it's you guys that do that. Okay, cool. Pakistan, come on in. They won't join the war, so be it. Oh man, this is gonna be a giant mess. Oh boy, concentrate industry, nice. Wait, are we actually winning on the attack? Hold on. Something I really wasn't expecting there. We haven't done our land auction either, which is probably a bad idea. Resource efficiency game would be pretty good as well. Uh, let's get some more decryption first. That might be really beneficial for us. Are we actually winning here? We are winning here. How? Sakim is gone, which is great. Let's grab some more light tanks. Okay. Yeah, why not? Portable radios? Cool. Encrypted shift registers? Cool. Let's grab some more encryption so they can't really hurt us too badly. We can find some enemy convoys. Yep, sink them, sink them, sink them, sink them. If that's the case, don't come down here. Do it over on this side too, maybe. Do all three if you can. That's way we can really limit their access to other nations' goods and stuff like that. I mean, these guys are doing well. You must keep supporting them, alright? Get some more motorized, get some more motorized. And we'll throw in one more thing at cavalry if we can, just because there's only so much motorized that we have, so it is what it is. Come on, Pakistan, join us. You join the faction for a reason. Cancel only, what the heck? Yeah, we're doing a lot better than I thought we would. Oh, we can't see how many casualties we've taken, or how many we've inflicted. We've lost about 11,000 people so far. Woof! Mm, fighters, we'll do that one. That'd be good. Mm, APC is not bad. Get some more cast as well. We're going to get a little bit more of this and a little more rubber. There we go. That should help us out. A little more rubber. Uh, Malaysia. Do two. And we're going to get one more. Th eh, maybe a few more things of fuel. There's the USSR. There we go. We're still building plenty enough stuff, so I'm not too worried about it. I mean, if you guys can win. Go right ahead. But if you can't, that's big sadness. But if you guys can win, that's big victory. If you can win right there, that'd be great. Over here. Cool. How much how much fuel does India have? I can't imagine they have a lot, but they could probably trade for it, so. Oh, they're still attacking us. But then we're attacking them back. Okay, their division seem probably extremely weak. Like these motorized? Oh, so they're like ten, literally ten combat width. Okay, that's not bad. Get the cavalry to get in there too, if you can, at all. Oh, did you not win there? Holy crap! Oh, USSR. Azerbaijan. Thank you. Do you have any upgrades yet? No, but you're learning. Scale level three. Dhaka? Can we take Dhaka, Dhaka, something like that? If they don't want to join in the war, we will find another avenue for you guys to invade. Probably. Blueprint stealing, that'd be fine with me. We could use our cipher, but I don't think I'm going to do that yet. 
Yeah, uh, I want to see how many casualties we've taken or how many we've inflicted. Because it seems like we've inflicted a lot, but we'll see what happens. Civilian industry. Uh, probably they still have a lot of manpower. They have a lot less fuel now, which is good to see. We have definitely have a mixed amount of air superiority over here. Let's see if we can make that a little better. That would be good. We have no extra planes. So be it. So be it. So be it. Introduce carriers. Great. Let's go and do blue skies over China. The Chinese Air Force has seen better days, to put it bluntly. A mishmash of foreign bombers and short-range fighters borrowed from the international volunteer groups. In addition to the remnants of South Soviet air power we were able to hold on to after the collapse, our air power is hanging on by a proverbial thread. Only heavy American intervention and even worse communist logistics was able to keep the Reds from overwhelming our own forces from the Air Force in the National Liberation War. That is about to change, however, with the Vietnam conflict bubbling to a boil, and the Executive Yuan had decreed that the ROC Air Force be modernized reformed to the standards of a proper military wing, capable of genuine offensive and defensive operations. If you cannot grasp the skies above us, we do not deserve to hold the lands under heaven. And so we shall. Cool. Not bad. Another convoy gone. Yeah, I might stop the attacks now. Maybe, maybe not. We'll see what happens. If you guys can get in there too, that'd be great. Yeah, the next thing we're going to research is probably logistic companies, because we could probably really, really use them. Oh, do you have an upgrade, sir? Ma Ying. Eh, nothing really too remarkable to speak of. Oh, Hu Zong Nan. Yes, do that one. I'd like it for him to become an organizer, but we'll see what happens. Anyone have upgrades? No, that's fine. You guys come over to this group. I really wish they'd do something around here. Pakistan, please come on in. Please come on in. Mao Ying wounded. That's unfortunate. Oh, they're attacking us over here too. Oh, yeah, that's nice. All right, so we can't win. We'll tell you all to hold. We probably lost a lot of guys. I'm going to assume 50,000 to 100,000. 67. Eh, it's better than what I thought. Keep sinking them. Keep sinking whatever they got. And if their fuel continues to go down... That is great. Uh, it's maybe slightly going down. Spain joins Mediterranean Pact. Interesting. Very, very interesting. Oh, you guys are still attacking. Yeah, don't worry about that. If you guys are suffering from supply issues, I'm going to pull you guys out and actually consider enabling baiting with you guys here. So come on. Come over here. Blueprint stealing, not bad. Invisible ink. Let's go and send our spies over to this group here. And if we can't win the war, you know, I don't really care. It's fine. I just wanted to see this as a test run. Delhi. Very good, very good. More divisions. Why not? Very good, very good. Now, we must be smart with our uh, divisions and attacking and defending. Yeah, because it's still pretty mixed over here. Let's make sure we get enough fighters for any length of time. Make sure we maximize this at this point. Good. And we'll get one more thing of rubber, maybe. Because since we have enough civilian factories to trade away, let's get everyone from this from them as well. That'd be okay for me and for us. Grab a little bit more rubber from this. Nice. 100%. Good. Get two of those being worked on right now. Uh, I wish we had more research slots. I really wish we did. They're even attacking up here. You guys are a bit nuts. If I were to attack you at the same time, though, could you actually win? Maybe, maybe not. That'd be really nice if we could, though. Pakistan, please open up the front. Open up the god dang front, son. I'm going with my cat Binky. You okay, Bink? Yeah? Yeah, baby Bink. If that's the case, I'm going to improve relations maybe with them. Maybe by doing that, they'll come on board. Maybe, maybe not. So, hey, we actually made it over here. Great, and they're attacking us like crazy. Ah, invisible ink, very nice. Wow, they are those motorized are attacking until they literally die. Holy Oh my goodness, look up there too. Holy crudarinos. Blue skies over China. Next up, uh let's see. Bomber focus, battle for supremacy, more production cap. That's not bad. Ooh, we get a military base immediately. Interception attack, that might not be bad to do as well. I'm just looking for bonuses. Helicopters are okay. Swept planes, snake bombs. Ground support. Let's go with more caps. Okay, 
Let's go with Battle for Air Supremacy. If we're to hope to put our Air Force to good use at all, we must first focus our efforts on controlling the skies. What good will bombers or long range fighters do if they are trapped in flammable hangars as the enemy strafes us on from high? Thankfully, our aviation advisors are laying out the blueprints for the designs that will revolutionize air control in the next decade. Heavy, heavy reliance on our American aviation partners have also given us access to talented individuals, some of them expatriates linked to our flying tigers, that should give us insider access into the American aviation industry as well. It'll be a long process, and the path to genuine air power will be rocky, but the road to Shu has always been harder than the road to heaven. And did we not conquer Kun Ming? Yeah, I guess so. Cool. And we'll do one there and do another one there. Keep building, guys. Keep building. The future of China is at on hold for now because we are at war. And how much are you learning? You're learning a little bit, Chen. You're doing a pretty good job so far. These guys over here are doing a pretty good job as well. This guy is getting his butt s snuffed. And by snuffed, I mean beaten up. Get more attack. Get adaptable. I love adaptable. 10, 10, 50%. Ten, terrain penalty reduction. Mine is 50%. Jesus, that's so good. Uh, at this point, I'm going to have you guys all attack here, and you guys attack here as well. Oh, yeah, the motorized... Oh, my goodness. India really likes their motorized. I don't know why they only made them, like, 10 combat width. Maybe they didn't even touch them. Obviously, manpower-wise, we're not really going to kill that many. Their fuel is slowly going down, which is awesome. They have up to 9, 30, 94 divisions. 10 combat width, stockpile-wise. They are running... They have enough rifles for now. But maybe they're out of... Ah, uh, motorized infantry is not doing well... If we keep attacking, then we could, they could run out of resources eventually. Which would be pretty good, but let's help support over here so we can destroy these guys for good. That'd be good. Yeah, keep attacking me, guys. Keep attacking. We really could use some logistic companies. Keep sinking them convoys. That is so good. Plastic explosives. I love that India has no navy. I wonder when we're going to get our next navy, or next ship out. 62? That's not bad. That's quite a ways away, though. But maybe some destroyer hulls. That'd be really good as well. Nice. Get some more refineries. Make our own fuel. Did you guys win up here? You did not. That is sad. If that's the case, you guys come right here. You might be able to win. Yeah, that'd be good. That'd be real good. Shannon, anything else? Oh, look at that. Oh, he's my general. He's learning a lot. Pakistan. Please, Pakistan. India's not that bad if you have a two-front war. Trust me. Trust me. And you just go right there to help stay there. There you go. Now you're getting attacked. Now you're attacking. Oh, it's going to be nice. You're getting rid of four enemy divisions. Not a lot, but that's okay with me. Calcutta, how many, how much manpower do you have? Mm, about a third to a half a million. More decryption, let's go ahead and grab some logistic companies. Oh, we already have logistic companies. Oh, it is 61. Uh, maybe, uh, hmm. Let's get better signal companies, how about that? There you go. 40 combat widths. Nice. Now we're probably going to run out of... Yep, we're out of support equipment. That's what I thought. Support equipment and motorized, which is not good. Hold on. Hold... We sent a white piece. Oh, Chinese victory in Tibet. Interesting. Okay, so then we pieced out... What? I wanted war. I wanted a lot of war. I have been cheated out of my war. We're still at war, though. Oh, with Bengal. How are we supposed to invade... Bengal. Hmm. I don't know if China has developed a uh, naval program. But maybe we, we should. Well, I guess not. Uh, I guess not. Well, that really sucks. I didn't know that was, that was scripted to do that, but okay. Pakistan, you are incredibly disappointing. But I guess we can still claim that as a victory. You know, that's still a victory to, in my book. Read about integration. Create the Indian section. Battle for supremacy. I guess that's going to be the last war, because I wanted to do more than that, but all we got was Arun Achal Pradesh. That's okay, but I wanted all of India under us, but you know what? I guess that's just going to have to be the way it is for now. And we, we did link up with Pakistan over there, which is pretty nice, even though they didn't really want to join our war. Uh, that being said, I guess this is where we're going to almost leave our stuff. Oh, I can't liberate Hong Kong. Oh, crap, I should have done that before. Hmm... Commando training. Hmm. Well, we can't invade them. And I, if I go to war with these guys, it'll really reduce our stability again. Uh, yeah, they have a truce with us. Because we were doing really, just really, really well. It lasts until December. You know what? We're going to do it again just so I can get rid of them. Just so that we can uh, just do well. Like, just overall. I just want to do well here. So you guys are going to do the... Hold on. Wait, you joined me? Wait, hold on. When did you become my puppet, Bhutan? 
What the heck? Okay, yeah. Why not? Yeah, thanks, Bhutan. Uh, cool. Uh, okay, sure. Uh, air to missiles. Air to air missiles. Gun mounts have served aircraft faithfully since the very beginning of aviation, but the trade off it incurs is one of range. By the time the enemy is in our sights, our own fighters are more than likely to be in theirs. The ensuing battle can only be won through piloting skill and manipulation of technical expertise. And China's lost far too many pilots to place trust in the strategy. What is needed is a means to engage the enemy long before he's in sight so that our air superiority can be enforced without threat. The AIM series missiles, pro prototypes developed in American facilities, have therefore proven of significant interest to us. The hardware of these missiles are, will be broken down, the principles beyond them analyzed, and their designs replicated. When the time comes to scramble our new fighters, we will seize the high ground in the instant they take flight. Let's see what happens. That was very weird how we had a piece. I, I was about to end an episode there, but you know what? I'm just going to go back to war with them. I, I don't normally like doing that, but it seems like we're going to have to. I'm going to throw you over here, because I'm actually going to do this as well. One big ol' front right here. One big ol' front. If we can. That would be great. It looks kind of weird, but it'll work. Hopefully. Uh, oh, we're still singing convoys? Yeah, unfortunately, I still gotta use comms commands. I mean, we did really well against India. I just wish we did better than that. I mean, we did pretty well, since they did white peace out. And they're looking pretty weak at this point, so... Why not? Motorized, support equipment. Motorized and support equipment. Motorized. Cool. Make more military factors if we can. 100%, 100%. Great, great, great. Ooh, another operative. Don't mind if we do. Li Shen. You can help defend us for now. You are looking pretty good. You get right there. And it's time to use console commands. I am sorry. It just... This is the way it has to be done. And goodbye again. Cool. Can we actually go through and do what needs to be done? Maybe, maybe. Give us some upgrades. Some divisions are looking pretty good, actually, already. Fortress Buster. Let's scavenge for resources. Let's try that one. Interrogation techniques. Very cool. Suicide pills. Why not? Alright, so far we're looking pretty good. Couple uh, guys over there. Couple. Oh, that's a lot of Indian convoys. Holy cow. And, of course, these guys still don't want to do anything against them. Pakistan. Inviting you to the pack was probably one of my worst mistakes ever doing because you refuse to do anything. And you won't get any part of them then. Don't complain when you come home and there's nothing for you to have in terms of eating up India. Yeah, can we actually see this now? No, we cannot. God dang it. Still glitched. Ugh. Now this is not going very well, but that's okay. We're doing a probably a pretty good amount of damage to them. Motorized still. Support equipment. Mmm. We're going to lower us by 5, because we got more than enough now. Actually, lower by 10. Do by 5. Do this by 5. There you go. 15 is good enough for now. We got enough carrier fighters, enough normal fighters, too, even maybe as well. Nice. Come on, keep going, guys. You're doing a great job. We want to capitulate India. Have a great old victory here. Pretty good. Pretty good. Air to air missiles. Uh, 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 swept wing planes. Push for domestic assembly. In tandem with our efforts to boost domestic manufacturing, we will also encourage foreign aviation manufacturers to set up a shop at what we've termed special manufacturing investment zones. Based in the hubs of Manchuria, the Wuchang urban area in Guangzhou, there will be assembling zones which will be explicitly tailored to make aircraft parts cheaper, faster, and more efficient than the rest of Asia. We will become a manufacturing hub for the west and east, pumping out chassis and engines of our liberated brethren, air forces, and for Washington and London alike. Rumors of widespread labor suppression, surveillance, illegal observation, or outright industrial copyright violation, blatant replication, regular exchange of manufacturing personnel to RS ROC military facilities, and flutter up fraud for the purpose of copying these facilities are, of course, lies perpetrated by foreign opponents. Just saying. Just saying. Doing not too badly, though. Could use a spot more fuel. Just a wee bit more fuel. And we've countered a little bit more resistance here than we would have liked. Oh my gosh, we must be destroying a lot of the enemies, though. We lost about 100,000 manpower. Woo! We have a little bit more fuel. Oh, actually, you're looking pretty good over there. Pretty darn good. Nice. No more needed. Great. Azerbaijan. We grab three more and aluminum. Grab two more. That's why we made more civilian factories. So this way we can trade them away. Great. Uh, make more refineries, too, so we don't have to trade them away. That'd be good. Really focus on that stuff. Okay, there goes Bengal. That was not bad. Uh, I'll take Bengal. Oh, here we go. They've lost 440,000, and we've lost 
14,000. Okay, that's how, they're a lot easier than I thought they would be. That was That's a little bit of a surprise to me. I thought they'd be a little bit more difficult than that. And we have another ship. A destroyer. Great. How's the Admiral doing? Chen, have you learned anything else? He's level 3. No, not yet. That's okay. This is going a lot easier than I expected. I thought Indy would be a little bit more difficult. I mean, they did go with, well, like, a very capitalist way of going, I guess, or something like that. I don't know. Just... Hold on. Oh, they, they came in! When did you guys come in? What the heck? When did Pakistan... Oh, now I have to give you stuff? Come on, man. Eastern Sindh? Oh, yeah, well, that's going to look like really bad borders then. We'll give them what they wanted, but we won't give them that much since we did most of the work already on this side. We've demolished so many div divisions. These guys are only 20 combat width, too. I mean, yeah, it helps that we have air superiority. That's pretty much the biggest thing in any uh, any mod, any game of Play 4. If you have air superiority, odds are you're probably going to win. Order convoys? Eh, we don't want to buy them from Japan. Pretty want integration, that'd be good. Eh, you know what, grab some more war support too, because we can. Do it against the UK, because we don't like the UK. What a bunch of imperialists. Don't mind me as we're slowly doing this as well. Yeah, they're fighting to the death. Holy crap. Oh, Nepal. Oh, yeah, we have our cipher done for these guys. I forgot about that. My bad. There you go. And next, we're done with that. those upgrades too. No, we're good. Well, I'm really surprised that, you know, earlier, like, the U.S. condemned our invasion of Vietnam. I'm kind of surprised. Well, I guess I'm not too surprised. It's not in the focus tree yet for us to take out India. But I was hoping there would be something like... UN condemnation that we invaded India because if China invades India, that's a pretty major thing. I, I know it's only 62, but that's a pretty major thing to happen. So, you guys are 20. How are you guys different? Suck it all. There you go. Do that one. Push for domestic assembly. Uh, Chinese domestic aviation industry. In the last year, we struggled with fire production and bases in Yunnan and Chongqing. Poorly equipped, far too humid for our proper maintenance, and far away from the supply chain that these nascent assembly lines are doomed from the start to failure. Now that we've access to the massive industrial spine of the coastal China cities, we can begin production in earnest, and the Military Affairs Commission is eager to start. Centralized planning structures, collaborative investments by Northrop and Grumman, uh, and ambitious land purchases outside major cities will boost our air production by an order of magnitude, and further directives to begin importing American techniques and expertise will ensure our industry stays competitive in the long term. With any luck, we'll soon have a, a true air industry to call our own, and this time no Japanese fighters will be able to get anywhere near it. Yeah, the Japanese are all snuffed out, so they can't really do much against us. Not too worried about that. Yeah, we started doing more cryptology against Afghanistan, because we can. Yeah, this is... I'll give Pakistan what they deserve, but not much not much more than that. Go ahead. You know what? Mm, we could go to war with them. I don't... We could go to war with them. I'm not going to, because at least... This, this video is getting a little long, and I still want to take out uh, Hong Kong. So, so Pakistan. I think you have cores on this and that. I'm not sure if you have any cores on anything else. We'll see once we take everything, though. Nice. Let's see. Cores, cores. No, you do not. That's good. And all you guys, let's go to Hong Kong. A lot of divisions next to Hong Kong. Holy crap, I'd be very scared. <laughs> And we will liberate it soon enough. And hopefully we get an event to liberate uh, India. Because I don't want India to be under us. Well, I want them to be under us, but I don't want to deal with all this resistance. It doesn't look like it. The same thing with Bengal when we took it over. There's no like special event for us to release it. So, yeah. Logistics 2, let's go and do that. Psychological warfare, great. We're done with that stuff then. We need some more motorized and support equipment, which is normal. Which actually, hmm... I wonder if I converted you guys to 40 combo widths. We would not have enough of anything. More decryption is nice. Go ahead and grab some more encryption plus one. Not bad. Oh, that was going to be really bad for supply. Uh, do we have a couple days to wait for this? Okay, so look at the Nationalist Revolt. Let's get at least a few divisions over there first and see what happens. Alright, good enough. Let's see what happens. Liberate Hong Kong. They say yes, they say no. We'll see what happens. Yeah, adding India. Looking up. Not bad yet. British Defiance. While revolution in Hong Kong is growing, the British stood defiant against their intimidation, unwilling to surrender the city back to its rightful owner. Our troops are ready. Our general staff calculated that it would only take hours for us to completely overrun Hong Kong, and it is expected that the international community would react coldly to the British. Start a border war. Uh, give me just a little bit of time. And I want to make sure that all of our soldiers are more than capable 
of whatever needs to get done. Wow, we need a lot of <laughs> we need a lot of things. They got eight days left. Uh, yeah, we need way more anti tank now. Way more of this. Way more of a lot of this stuff. Holy snaps! That's okay though. Cool. Go ahead and do this. Do that, that, and that because we're looking pretty good. Send in the troops. Begin a border war immediately. They have what? A single tank division, a light tank that we can pierce. Versus it should be six divisions. Yeah. All right. Let's see what happens. Oh, that's not even a light tank. Chinese victory in Hong Kong as the British forces surrendered. Chinese troops marched on the streets of Victoria. While many were celebrating on the streets, many capitalists and professionals feared for the worst, attempting to evacuate the defeated British. Regardless, Hong Kong's fate has been sealed. They are now united with China under a common border. Now they get a hostile takeover. Reunification. We have done well. The Toronto Accords were so focused on Germany and Italy and Europe that they didn't realize that China has become number one in Asia. Let's be real here. Nanjing Pak. Well, we took out India, and we've got Pakistan by our side help defeat anything from other parts of Central Asia. It was all over. But I think that's going to be our campaign, just because there's nothing else to do. We can do these other focuses, but there's really not much here. You get you know, capital ship attack plus 5%. We get a bonus to helicopters. We get a bonus to light aircraft. A bonus to bombers, probably. Uh, plus 10% bomber attack, and then plus 10%, 5% to bomber attack, and 10% to ground soft attack. And that's it. That's focus tree for Chiang Kai-shek's China. Now, there's other paths for China, which I'll explore some other day, but... Today is not that day. So regardless, I hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, consider leaving a like. If you enjoyed the campaign, consider leaving a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow in a different campaign. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.